In this video, I'll show you how I made this gladiator-themed short film in just one week with Unreal Engine 5. Using a powerful asset called Overcrowd, I was able to set these brutal combat sequences and detailed performances against an epic backdrop of thousands of modular characters with metahuman faces and facial animations. But first, enjoy the film. Citizens of Rome, look upon the glory before you. This, this is the strength that has built our blood and steel, forging men into weapons sharper than any blade. Soon, all of our enemies will face the same fate. The barbarians of Germania. The rebels of Hispania. They will all bend knee or bleed into the sand like these slaves before us. The people love you, Caesar. In their eyes, you can do no wrong. And it's a Texas. <laughs> Empire cannot exist without subjugation. Every province I conquer brings more slaves for your entertainment. More warriors to die in the sands for your slaga. The eagle standards will fly over lands you cannot even imagine. All right, thanks for watching. So for this Gladiator project, I teamed up with Kenneth McLean, the developer of Overcrowd, uh, who's been building this incredibly powerful crowd simulation asset for Unreal Engine 5. And full disclosure, I am now a partner in this asset and will be helping in its development moving forward. So for this scene specifically, I placed dozens of Overcrowd instancers around the stadium each spawning roughly 300 modular crowd members. Each instancer lets you define exactly which characters, wardrobes, and animation sets spawn in each crowd section. And once spawned, you can actually manually reposition individual crowd members, which is perfect for you know, art directing or you know, figuring out the exact composition of your shot. Now, Overcrowd works similarly to the already powerful Anim Detexture plugin by Epic, uh, but it adds a lot of functionality. Like modular metahumans with facial animation, advanced VAT animation sequencing, automatic LOD generation for optimization, uh, precise art direction control, and dynamic mesh and ragdoll swapping capabilities. Now, because Overcrowd is currently undergoing an overhaul in its UI and feature set, it's not available for sale right now, but if you go to my brand new Patreon and follow it for free, that's actually where we'll be posting it initially for sale. And it'll be for sale for a reduced price on Patreon while we're still adding new features. And then when it's complete, it will be moved to Fab. And don't worry, if you pick it up on Patreon, we'll make sure you get a free copy on Fab later so it's conveniently in your library. All right, let's dive into the gladiator fights themselves. Every sword combat sequence here uses custom mocap animations I captured myself using MoveAI's Markless Multicam system. 
So these animations are actually part of a paired sword fighting animation pack I'm developing, which is specifically targeted to the metahuman skeleton and designed for cinematic use. Uh, this pack was directly inspired by the Kung Fu fighting animation set I showcased in one of my earlier videos, but this time around I wanted something focused on realistic sword combat that filmmakers and cinematic artists could easily drop into their projects. So having these animations pre-made made it incredibly easy to block out my fight scenes in Sequencer. For each gladiator pair, I set up their animations in their own dedicated folder in the Sequencer, allowing me to slide the entire choreography sequences around on the timeline. So if I needed to adjust what a pair was doing in the background of a different character's shot, it was as simple as just shifting the animation group. Plus, since some of these animations included longer choreographed sequences, I was able to easily get wide establishing shots of the entire stadium or other characters, uh, you know, and be confident that the fighters in the background would stay engaging with, you know, realistic choreography without me having to sort of, you know, babysit each animation. And while this product is still very much in development, if you want, you can actually download the entire raw motion capture session of these sword fighting animations from my Patreon. It'll be available for a very, very reduced price. Yeah, so if you need sword animations like right now, or you just want to support the channel and uh, help fund the development, you can get that right now. And if you're coming to this video later and the pack is finished, I'll put a link to the finished pack in the description below. All right, let's dive into the characters themselves. So I decided to integrate some high quality heads from the 3D scan store into my MetaHumans. So these heads come directly from real world 3D scans and they feature insanely detailed 8K textures. So up close, the skin details like pores, wrinkles and blemishes just look ridiculously realistic, you know, especially compared to standard MetaHumans. Now, as for the performances themselves, I actually did all the acting myself using Move AI's Move Pro markerless multicam system for capturing body animations and MetaHuman Animator for facial capture. I wore the same head rig from facemotioncapture.com that I've shown in some previous videos, and it's honestly one of the most affordable and effective options out there. It costs only a hundred bucks, um, which is pretty good considering uh, you know what it's up against. And then finally for the voices, I used Eleven Labs voice changing technology to morph the recorded audio. This is the strength that has built our empire. Blood and steel, forging men into weapons sharper than any blade. I know a lot of you are wondering about my part two on my zombie tutorial. I promise it's coming soon, uh, but actually Overcrowd, the crowd sim asset I'm using here, is highly relevant to that. It basically has all the features you guys asked for after the first zombie tutorial. And so I'll be using Overcrowd extensively in that upcoming part two, where we'll do some crazy stuff like shooting the zombies, communicating between Niagara and the vats to have more realistic animations and behavior, modular zombies, and much more. Okay, thanks so much for watching. If you found any of this useful or entertaining, please consider leaving a like uh, and subscribing. If you wanna chat about anything and everything Unreal Engine filmmaking, come on by the Discord. There's a link in the description. And if you wanna see more cinematic scenes made in Unreal Engine and how I made them, check out any of the videos in the breakdowns playlist uh, right here on this channel. All right. I'm Charlie, and I will see you in the next one.